everyone. Now the situation at the moment is that it is autumn, which means summer is gone, it's a distant memory. But actually that's fine because I love autumn, it's actually one of my favourite seasons. And at Crumbs and Doilies HQ, the guys over there have been experimenting with loads of different flavours, getting into a more of an autumnal feel. And they've been experimenting a lot with this stuff. It's honeycomb, and you might also know it as cinder toffee or hokey pokey, and they've been doing all sorts of things with it, putting it in icing, sprinkling on top of things. You can even do things like make ice cream with it. And it is so simple to make, and it only uses three ingredients, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so before you start, you need to make sure that you have your tin ready. And I've got a 10 inch tin here, it's a square one, as you can see, and I have lined it with foil and sprayed it with a bit of um, non-stick oil. You can use vegetable oil or anything flavourless, but make sure you do that now so it's nice and ready for when you've got um, you know, a pan of really hot sugar in your hand. So I've got a pan here, I've got a thermometer in there, a sugar thermometer ready to go, and I'm using 250 grams of golden syrup and an equal amount of caster sugar. And on standby for later, I have three and three quarters of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And we're going to mix that in at the very end, but you want to make sure you have it all measured out ready. So I'm going to put my hob on to a medium heat and get this going. It'll take a little while to get going, but eventually it'll get hot enough so that the sugar's all melting. And if you need to give it a stir just to make sure it's a bit even, then use a heat-proof spatula for that. But make sure you don't get it on your skin or anything. It's very, very, very hot. Now what I'm looking for is to reach 149 degrees C, which is also known as hard crack. When that happens, it's in with the bicarbonate of soda and you need to be really quick as you stir it in just to make sure that it all gets thoroughly mixed and it bubbles up quite a bit. So this bit is the fun bit, but you need to be very, very quick and very, very careful. As soon as you've mixed all your bicarb in, it's time to pour it into your grease and line tin. Just make sure you do it as quickly as possible. So it's all in my tin and it is super hot. Do not touch it. Do not be tempted to whack your finger in there for a little taste because it will burn you. So just leave that to cool. It will take about half an hour to an hour and then when it, you come back it will be lovely and crunchy. Okay, so my honeycomb has completely cooled down but it's a little bit big for one mouthful so I'm going to chop it into lots of little pieces. So let's get cracking. <laughs> Literally. So there you go. How easy was that? Cinder toffee, honeycomb, hokey pokey, call it what you want. This stuff is brilliant and it is a really good addition to all kinds of desserts. You can mix it into some ice cream, you could sprinkle it on top of your cupcakes. What I like to do is to dunk them in chocolate and let them set and then put them in little bags and give them away to my friends. And your dentist is going to hate you but your friends are going to love you. I'm actually going to be using this stuff in an upcoming video, so make sure you get ahead of the game by making this now. And once it's completely cool and you've broken up, put it straight into an airtight container and it'll keep for a couple of weeks, or longer even, but just make sure you've got that ready. Next week I'll be back with my Halloween recipe, which is very exciting because Halloween's the best. So do tune in for that and subscribe to my channel because then you'll get an alert every time I do a video in it. So I'll see you then and have fun making this. I'm sorry if your teeth get stuck together. Well, I'm actually quite stuck. <laughs> mm. I think I might have lost a tooth. Just kidding. <laughs>